Hey guys, welcome to another Anon Gremlin video. Today we don't have a review, a weapon review on multiplayer for you. Instead, we are looking at the patch 1.05 for Mass Effect Andromeda. This patch did do things to single player, but because I'm mainly focusing on multiplayer, I'm just going to run through you with what it did to multiplayer. It's not a foolproof guide, I've only done this at a quick glance just to get it out to you guys. So if there's anything that I've missed and anything that you think I should bring your uh, attention to in a further video, please leave that in the comments. This channel is as much about my opinion and my thoughts and my views as yours. So if you see something that I've missed, please leave that in the comments and I'll get back to you. So obviously I'm going to be looking at gun balancing and how that's been affected. But the first thing I want to draw our attention to is the character selection screen. It seems to be neatened up. Now there is a gap between your uncommons and your rares and your rares and ultra rares. This might have been there before, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't. As you can see, there's a gap there. Maybe making this a lot more neater. And now let's get into the thing that you'll want, car uh, gun balancing in game. So they've done some balancing. It's not perfect, but they're going in the right direction. I don't know how this balancing will affect in game. I'm just looking at raw stats. If you want me to re-review anything, I will. So let's go into assault rifles. The only assault rifle I can put my finger on as being upgraded because looking at it from past reviews to now is the sandstorm. I believe the sandstorm has increased in damage by 35. When I reviewed it, it was on 112 damage. Now it's on 147. This isn't affected by my character. My character is exactly the same as how I reviewed the sandstorm. Also, it's not affected by leveling. As you can see, I still got my sandstorm on level one. Some guns I've got to level 2 now and my reviews done at level 1 so I haven't bothered bringing attention to whether they've been upgraded but if they have please leave a comment to say how much they've gone up by. So a lot of people were quite pumped about pistols, we all love pistols on this game, they seem to be the go to guns but a lot of them have also received upgrades. The Hornet is up by 9 from 39 damage so again that's an upgrade there, something that I wasn't expecting. The Scorpion has had quite an extantial upgrade. Up from 439 when I reviewed it to 499 now and again I don't think that is due to anything invested in my character it may not have gone up that high but it has gone around so up by that amount roundabout so if you think it's just under 60 please don't whinge at me I know it may be a little bit low and it may be something in game that's affecting it but I do believe the scorpion has had a buff something that I wasn't expecting so I thought it was okay the Sidewinder, a gun that I gave a little bit too much hate to, but that was because it was one of my early reviews and I didn't realise how good it was compared to other guns. The Sidewinder has also gone up. I believe it's gone up by 8 from 150. Please confirm this as I say, but it has had an upgrade in some respects because, again, my character is exactly how it is now as I reviewed the Sidewinder. So I believe the Sidewinder has gone up. The Phalanx as well, something that I've only just reviewed, has gone up from 111 damage. This was a gun that was seen in Mass Effect 3 to 119. So again, the Phalanx, it seems like it's gone up by 8 from when I reviewed it. So there's a cool thing there. Now let's move on to sniper rifles. Sniper rifles again, I wasn't expecting much change in sniper rifles. There's a few sniper rifles that I've slated. One of them is the Shadow. I believe the Shadow has gone up by a whopping 13 damage. It was on... Oh Jesus Christ, let me do maths. 27 damage, now it's on 40. I'm concentrating on damage because I literally couldn't see any other change in any other stats to guns. I could only see change in their damage. There may be in-game changes like their reload speed. So again, bring the, that to my attention. But looking at raw stats, a lot of guns, you can only see changes in their damage. Like this shadow, which has gone up by 13. And then, do we have anything else that's gone up? We have one other thing, this disciple. I believe the Disciple has gone up by 25 from when I reviewed it. It was on 496 if my math maths is correct and now it's on 521 damage. So there we go, the Disciple has been upgraded. These numbers are not concrete and they may not be the same for you. They may be slightly lower or higher. It may be just dependent on how I've built my class up and that might there might be little tweaks in there to like what skills have done to gun damage that may have affected it or when I reviewed it I was using it on another class but I do believe these guns have had upgrades they may not be the numbers I say and I apologize for that if you want to correct me please do don't necessarily dislike because that is very downheartening but I do believe some of these guns have had upgrades which is nice to see it's not all the guns we want to see I'd like to see more shotguns get uh, upgraded along with a lot of these assault rifles a lot of these assault rifles need to be changed 
but it's a step in the right direction. At least they're doing something about it, so we can't whinge. He's looking forward to maybe patch 1.1 or whether they decide to go to 1.07 or whatever. So there we go. That's that. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please leave any feedback, anything you found to have changed from patch 1.05 and I will shout you out in the video. So thank you very much and have a nice day.